Okay, there's been a lot of questions in setting up uh, a glassware appliance. So I'm gonna walk through that and show you just how easy it is to get this in your infrastructure, set it up and begin loading containerized Windows applications and anybody can do it. So starting with this, this is how easy this is. So you'll notice I have, this is the quick start out of the box experience and I have a USB key that I'll get to in a second and I, this is backwards and forwards there. So uh, mostly I'm gonna focus on this point right here, uh, which is step six and seven, uh, because everything else I've been done and I'll, I'll cover that just to catch everybody up uh, in just a minute. Okay, so to catch you up, here's what we've done so far. We took the box, uh, the appliance out of the box. We plugged in network cables and we plugged in power. Uh, I actually have the face plate off of this one, which you can see here. Uh, so we can take a look at the blinking lights later. Uh, but I'm about to turn it on. This hasn't been turned on yet. And when it is, I'll take you from there. Okay, for the purposes of this demo, I took the faceplate off so that we could see all the cool blinky lights. And I'm about to get started uh, with the next steps, which are beginning at step six and seven, which is where you actually turn on the box and connect to it, and then the magic begins. Okay, the first step in getting this connected is really slick because it comes with its own wireless that only is used for setting these things up so that it's really easy to get started. So. Uh, every appliance comes with a USB key that's a wireless USB key that will set up its own network. So we're going to just simply plug that into the back and then boot it from there. Okay, so now that we've turned it on and we have the network USB key running, you'll notice it's on and the blinky lights are going on and uh, now it's time to connect my machine to the Wi-Fi. That can be done with anything, a tablet, uh, it has to support Java though. Uh, a computer, a phone, doesn't really matter. If it does, then it'll work. So I'll show you that in a second. Okay, with that wireless USB stick in the back, it sets it up as a access point. Now I plug in my computer there, and you'll notice that there is a glassware one I'm connected to that is limited. That's because it's not connected to a, a outside internet, it's just connected to that box. Uh, and I'll show you the rest in a second. Okay, the instructions had me go to a web page. You can kind of see that at the bottom. I don't know about clearly. And all I'm going to do is log in here and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, here's where the magic begins. We're now at the initial setup, which is a wizard where we get going here. Uh, I'm going to click continue to start a username and password uh, which is the same I used to log in before now it's going to ask me to set up a new password. 
Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And my email address. This just so happens to be P. P. Bookman at Sphere3D.com. Okay, now we're to the license key portion. This is where you license either concurrent users or number of applications, as well as any uh, licensing models that our partners or ISVs or whoever's loading software on these wants to go with. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna skip this part. Uh, if we want to, we'll go to it later, since this is just me setting up this one. Okay, so it was that easy to get to the administration stuff and have a default set up. I'm going to set up some other things right now, uh, which I'll walk you through, which is now that this is set up, I need to connect it to a network that can connect to the outside world and then be able to connect to it on uh, Chromebooks and that kind of thing, which is the part I'll get to last. So uh, this is the admin screen that is now available to me and I'm gonna set up a couple things and go from there. Okay, we've now arrived at setting up network settings. Obviously, this is something that would be for your network. I have this set up on a demo network, so I'm just going to input those settings, save them, and then we'll be ready to connect from the other side. So, um, take you to there and next steps. Okay. Now that this is set up, this again looks familiar. Only difference is now I'm online, I'm connected, everything can see each other, I can see the outside world. So at this point, we're ready to actually add applications and do other things. So I will show you that in a second. Okay, this should look familiar. I've just connected to my internal network now that I connected that box to. So now I'm no longer on that USB network. And I'm just gonna log in with the new username and password that I set up previously. Okay, this should look familiar to everybody. Uh, if you've been here before, but this is just where we install applications. So it's easy to find. We just click on applications here on the top, install applications and you end up here. So it's pretty easy, uh, but you can install files from this machine or web install from a, a website that I can uh, show you either on this video or another time. I probably will show you another time, uh, but let's go ahead and install a file from this local machine. And I have quite a few applications here, but my favorite is Thunderbird. It's quick, it's easy. And do I want to do it? Yes, I just continue. It's at this point going to do a little uh, virus protection check and make sure all is well. Uh, and it seems good there. So now we'll launch a session. It asked me if I wanted to uh, Run Java. Okay, Java is running, which is gonna open up the installer in here. Ask me if it's okay to run. Uh, wants me to activate Windows, which I'm going to not do. Uh, it's, it's Windows that's not really there anyway. Uh, I'm 
here we are extracting. You'll notice in the top left it did instruct us that when it's done, uh, we're the ones who know it's done, not necessarily it. So this is an installer and we're just going to install the application just like you would normally. I'm going to just uh, not Right now we're just installing just like you would normally. This is, uh, I think it was Simon Bramfit who said if you can install an app, you can use this. I'm not gonna run it now, because it won't run anyway. So we are finished now. And now I click here when it's complete. The last part is that it wants to know which one to use. There's a lot of other things going on here and there's a lot of executables that you might use for a given application. This one happens to be the Thunderbird.exe and I add it. Now that it's added, I just click done and this is now added. It's that easy. Uh, I previously added a bunch of these other applications that I didn't show you so that it's ready to go. Uh, and there are some that show up by default. Uh, we can also cover that another time so that you can do like the web browser things and things like that. Uh, I need to do this step as well, uh, which is to add a user so that the user can actually connect the applications that I put on here. So I'm just gonna quickly add my username uh, my password and uh, then we'll connect to actual applications. Uh, you'll notice now that there's now a pbookman user and now I'm ready to check out my application as well as anything else on there. Okay, what well we're looking at now, you can see my computer to the right and phone, but uh, the important part is the Chromebook that I'm now using uh, with super weird lighting that uh, when you see this, you'll notice all the things we loaded application-wise. I logged in on the account that we created uh, and now we'll launch one and see what happens. Okay, here we are uh, with a list of applications. You'll notice right here is Thunderbird. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now, since we're, same thing. All right, here we are. And that's Thunderbird. You can walk through the install and set that up. Uh, but we can run any one of these applications and that's what we're gonna show today. Another video, perhaps another time, uh, we'll cover doing like some other stuff like uh, loading a browserless web page, uh, things like that. But getting set up and getting to your applications, you can see that was really fast. In fact, I did that whole thing in around 20 minutes or so. Uh, obviously, as mentioned, I'm sitting on a countertop, so whatever it would take to rack that thing would also take that time. But uh, we're excited about this. We containerized Windows applications that fast. Uh, adding them is equally as fast. You just keep installing them the way we did there. And uh, this is super easy to do and drop in an appliance and go.